Hello my loves, long time no see. So I've just got back from holiday as in literally I have just got back from dropping my boyfriend off at his house. Um, so I don't know if you can actually hear me over the aircon, but let me turn that off. So I'm gonna go to Tesco. I'm gonna do a bit of a reset video. I'm gonna it's gonna be over a few days because I'm gonna get a facial on Monday, so I'm gonna bring you guys with me for that. Hopefully, if I remember, but I will 100 percent try to. And then I'm gonna go to Tesco now and get some bits for some green smoothies because obviously on holiday you're eating what you want, and I was definitely not picking the most nutritious options that would be you know making my skin feel good and all of that so let's go okay she's got the goods and i also got some sushi because i have been craving sushi and i just didn't get any when i was on holiday so i'm gonna get some now and then i got this which i found and it's quite cute it's got some apples and grapes and a baby bell so i thought it was quite a good little balance because i'm not super duper hungry but i thought i need to actually eat something because it's half three right now and i have i've not eaten since breakfast so i just ate that sushi oh and now i'm eating this and then i'm gonna head home then i came back to loads of beautiful pr which is very exciting so I'm gonna give a haul while mum does the ironing, which is the noise behind it. So we got some from Soul Day Janeiro, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this smells amazing. And then you guys know that I am obsessed with this cream. I have had it in multiple of the videos and on podcasts, and they sent me two more. So I'm very excited for that. And then a hair oil as well. I only use the Gizu hair oil, so it'll be interesting to see how different this is. I feel like this one is a bit less thick if that makes sense this one seems to be a little bit um because it's a spray so i'm assuming it'll be a little bit less thick um so i'll let you guys know how that is and then i got the a lip balm and i always see emily kaiser using it so i use that and it's absolutely amazing it smells like chocolate like caramel chocolate and then the leave in milky conditioner which is exciting and it's actually hair wash day today which is why i'm wearing a hat so i will let you guys know how it goes because this is the ultimate reset because when you see my room guys you are going to be so disappointed in me because it's horrific and then this body spray mum doesn't this body spray smell amazing not the body spray the body wash yes it does it smells amazing and then i got some from Curology, it's like a shampoo and conditioner set, and I have wanted to try these for ages, but I've just not got around to using it. Um, not using it, buying it. And then I got a vitamin C serum, a AHA night serum. Apparently, this is meant to be really good. This one from the pharmacy, but it's not spelt like a normal pharmacy. Um, and then they give me a green clean one. And I have seen these in Selfridges, and I'm very excited to use these because. As you guys know, my skin. But we'll just have to see if they work. But I got a facial mist and a toner. So yeah, I'm gonna put all of the shopping that I got away. And then I'm gonna clean the state of my room. And then I'm gonna make some green juices. So we will be back. You guys, is it gonna focus? I'm low key mm -hmm. embarrassed. Mum going downstairs. Yeah. I the room is so full. Okay, anyway, this is realistic for when you're coming on holiday and you know you've not been doing your best. So this is what's going on. Is it even in focus? Yeah, it kind of is. So this is just the stuff I chucked out of the suitcase to so then I could just drop my home easily. So that's my holiday stuff. And the stuff I thought I was gonna bring on holiday that I didn't and then just a few wrappers, tripod. I actually do need to get a new one because this one's actually broken and I'm just fixing it currently with blue tack. The bed is kind of messy. We've got a bit of this. Also, how cute is this fried egg that my sister made me? She left it in my room. How sweet. And then the bathroom, the bit of clothes. It's a bit it's a bit messy, okay. We're gonna clean it though, so it's all good. My shoe rack, because I have, believe it or not, the bottom of my bed actually is full of shoes and then a bit of Netflix. So, I am gonna clean my room, I'm gonna make a TikTok of it, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished result when it's done. Wish me luck. 
my excuse the super chilled out look i've got right now my greasy hair but i have finally cleaned my room it only took me an hour or so maybe two hours anyway so this is the room i got a new yoga mat and i love it and then the bed and then obviously my beautiful tripod and then this one this is my old pilates mat i got a new one because it's on carpet it can roll up like that um but it does a lot with that even just when i move um so that's why i got a new one and now i just take this to my pilates classes because it's a bit easier because otherwise you have to like sanitize them and stuff which is obviously good but it takes up time so i take that with me and yeah so here she is in all of her glory i also got a new everyday handbag and it's actually huge like i'm obsessed let me guy like know if you guys want to know what's in my bag because i used to love watching those when i was younger uh, so that's the bed and then we've got this and then my boyfriend left his spf and um like spray in my room so not in my room in my bag so i need to keep those separate i kind of did a bit of a reorganization here because it was getting a bit getting a bit busy because i have a lot a lot of products if you can't tell uh maybe you could say it's overconsumption. i'm not sure but genuinely i do use these on a weekly basis all of them but there we are so i've got my makeup brushes toothpaste sponges and a lighter which is a bit random and i've got my creams my monday minis um my perfumes and perfumes are that i know you're not meant to keep them in a bathroom but i just i don't want to keep them in my bedroom to be honest so that is that and then i've got this this has got my face masks um face washes cotton pads uh, the pill and then these dots for spots i highly recommend these if you're a spot picker like me these are truly a game changer so i highly recommend those um but anyways i am i was thinking i was gonna get changed to film my green smoothie but i don't think i will because i don't think i'm gonna show my face in it to be honest i might i'm not sure but anyway i'm gonna make some green smoothies now and then i'm making dinner for my family i'll try and remember to take a video for it for you guys if i don't it's a hamburger or cheeseburger salad um which is oh it's delicious i put it on my instagram story a few maybe a month ago now when i last made it and people were like oh my gosh what is that so i'm gonna try and record that for you guys as well but if not the ingredients are literally lettuce cucumber red onion um, pickles, Thousand Island sauce, and then mints, just chucked into a bowl with some cheese. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Just everything you put in a cheeseburger, but obviously just on a plate without the bun. But yeah, so that is what I'm going to be doing. But I've done pretty well. I'm so glad that I've actually managed to have a bit of a reset. I'm feeling better. I think I'm gonna feel so much better when I actually get showered and start to really feel fresh but we'll we'll move from that hey guys so she has finished the recipe but we're gonna take a hold and i'm doing my vlog um but anyway so the ingredients are spinach pineapple but frozen pineapple um lemon cut up or you can just use lemon juice totally up to you and what else i use ginger we use ginger and I think that's it and coconut water and water and it does look a bit, a bit slashy right now but do you see how it goes it's going a bit juicy at the bottom the good thing about this i got this off of kaylee stewart but basically it turns into juice um as you leave it longer so that is what i'm gonna do but i've just been drinking this is pretty nice anyway and um yes yeah, so this will hopefully help clear up my skin a bit my clear my skin's actually looking pretty good um but i just feel a bit clogged up so i'm getting a um micro needling facial which you guys know i have had before which helps my acne scars and then this will hopefully do the trick of adding a bit more glow to my skin um so yeah hopefully that helps me out but we're on we're on the we're on the up girls now i'm going to edit my tiktok video i'm waiting for my dad to get home so i can start making dinner for everyone so that is what i'm doing so far and i really want to have a shower right i haven't actually had a shower how gross is that um but I want to have a shower when I finish everything I need to do so I can have a shower, put all my moisturizers on, really make it an event. And then 
get into bed read my book chill out light a candle really make it a proper self-care evening self-care event so that is what i'm going to be doing Pudding. okay i just made a matcha latte and excuse the way i look because my dad literally just said i look like a, a mad woman probably because my hair is just on the brink anyway stand back so you can hear me so i made it with the emma chamberlain one i don't know if i like it i don't can you hear them laughing let me shut the door oh gosh how rude do they not know i'm filming a youtube video anyways so i made it it was the what was it it was the matcha vanilla matcha okay and i made it with oat milk i used my whisk it's actually the taste of it isn't that great and the other matcha i had was literally five pound from amazon this was 25 pound maybe it was more i can't actually remember but i'm a bit disappointed emma i expected more i really expected more but it's okay I'm going to use it. I'm not going to buy a different one. I'm going to use it until it finishes. But I think I am going to have to buy a vanilla syrup to put in it. Because if I'm being honest, I just don't think it has any resemblance to vanilla. But hey ho. Anyway. Okay, so it's now time for the shower. The shower. Oh, it's so bad that I actually haven't showered yet. Because... I've just been busy. I've been filming. I've been catching up with you guys. So I'm very excited because let me show you my favorite products that I have in the shower. So I'm going to use these ones today. So I will review how my hair feels and if this is actually worth the hype. I love the moisturizer, so I feel like it will be worth the hype. But pardon me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if I say that, I feel like this is definitely, it smells nice. And the creams are definitely worth the hype. The only thing I would say is the sprays probably aren't because they don't, they just don't last that long, to be honest. Like you spray them, they don't stay. Unless you spray them like a proper knit jumper, then it probably would stay, but no, probably not. Anyway, so I'll let you guys know how that body wash is. But here's a few of my favorite. I love Monday hair care. I've loving this actually. I got sent this and I've actually never heard of this black brand before, but it's like hard water, but it's all got a natural ingredients and it's got hyaluronic acid, which is meant to be really good for your hair. So I've been using that. And then obviously I use my trusty shampoo scrub and then that's just a bar of soap. And then Snow Fairy. I've been loving this like um, Fruit Works body jelly. I've been really liking that. Just putting it in the loofah, so highly recommend. It's on my PR. I think what I'll use for my hair mask, because I've been using the it's like an, uh, a, a coconut butter one, and then I also love this one, but I've been using this one a few times. Um, but I've almost run out of that one, so I think I'll probably end up using that one, actually, and then I'll use this one for my next hair wash, but I'm really excited because it smells just like... Um, just like a uh, watermelon cell patch. So I'm excited to actually try that. But here's a sneaky little little bathroom tour we got going on. I actually printed this myself. So this is just a random print that I got for free prints. It was 10 pound, I think. And then I got one of those cheap like plastic frames from afar. It looks cute, but if you go up close, um, you can you can see the dodgy dodgy workmanship not workmanship craftsmanship. and that that is my pilates bar because i don't actually have a place to put it in my bedroom but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna have my shower i'm gonna whiten my teeth and then dye my eyebrows and i have actually got this routine in another video i want to say it's like my night routine or like glow up with me video it's a few videos down um but that's a good one if you actually want to see the specifics of what I do. But I'm just going to kind of have a little bit of me time. And I'll catch up with you guys very soon. Good morning. So it's the next morning now. I've just got ready. I'm going to go to the gym and then do a quick ab workout. Look how much sun damage my forehead has. 
But anyway, here's a little message for you guys. Actually, my forehead looks so much worse on camera than it does in the mirror. It's fine, we're gonna embrace it. Um, the facial will definitely sort out that unevenness. Anyway, so, today I have my hair in a slick back bun. And I've always been very self-conscious about my forehead, so I'm trying to embrace it a bit, become the best version of ourselves. Um, so yeah, that is your sign today. If you're watching this, embrace your insecurities, feel good in yourself. Hello, my loves. It is now Monday, guys. I'm pretty sure the last time I spoke to you was Thursday. So I went away for the weekend and stayed with my auntie. We went to the beach. It was really, really nice. And then today I have been filming content. I filmed some hair tutorials. I've shooted for some brands. Um, I filmed a few Pilates workouts. I've got a YouTube workout coming soon. I don't know if it'll be out by the time I bring this out. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so as I told you guys, I'm getting a microneedling facial. Um, and if you don't know what it is, I don't know if I've already explained it, but basically it helps with your acne scars. Um, so I've just filmed, I've given myself a blowout because I was filming for a hair campaign with Monday, which is very exciting. Um, so i need to take off my makeup and before you get micro needling or after you get it you're not allowed to go in steam you're not allowed to get sweaty for a few days which is why i dried a dried wash why i washed my hair today so i don't have to think about it because you know hair washing you know that's a steamy shower okay because we've got a lot going on then anyway so we're going there now i'm going to bring you along with me i messaged a girly to make sure that it was okay to film in there and she said it's absolutely fine so i'll bring you along with me it does just pre-warning it is a little bit gore it's not super cute micro needling is a load of little needles getting into your face but you know if you guys are curious and thinking about getting it yourself like i personally love it this is my third round getting it and i do see a difference in my skin i definitely don't do as much like in close proximity as i should but you know when you just get busy and it's quite a high maintenance thing in the way that you can't wear makeup for two days after you can't work out for two days after you can't use your acne cream which is my acne cream has retinol and tretinoin in which i can't use um the day before and a few days after it's quite a high maintenance you've got to make sure like for me i make sure i plan all my content which is why i filmed so much today i haven't really edited anything today just because i know for the next two days i'm going to be doing a lot of laptop work admin work so i have um time to prioritize editing and all of that whereas normally on a work day i would film and then i would edit and then i do admin that's normally like my day but anyway enough of the boring stuff um so yeah that is what i'm doing and i'm gonna bring you along with me girls okay it's really sad though because i've got to take off this makeup and my makeup is looking so nice like i'm so upset about it but it's fine we got this and so let me have a look my appointment is at five it's currently 4 15 um so i need to take off my makeup get dressed because i'm literally still in like gym gear i was filming it earlier it's kind of gross i should probably have a shower i'm just thinking about all the things i've got to do right now and then after my facial matt's coming over uh, i haven't seen him in a few days because we're not doing long distance anymore guys i haven't told you guys on youtube but we're not doing long distance anymore because he's back for a year for placement but the thing that i've actually found is that we are talking less now that he's moved back which I don't really know why, but he was saying it to me. He was like, I feel like I miss you more, even though we're like a few miles down the road. But I think it's because we used to call every night, whereas we haven't been calling every night. But I think we're going to start calling sp sporadically. But anyway, so yeah, that's that. So I'm seeing Matt tonight. Mum is making us. Let me show you guys what she's making us. She sent me, she sent me a message. Because I was like, I'll cook, it's fine. And mum was like, no, I want to cook. I was like, okay. So we're having a BLT chicken salad. So it's chicken, bacon, tomatoes, lettuce, and eggs, I guess. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my, my lamp. That was a bit creepy, wasn't it? Anyway, so it looks like that. So I'm quite, quite excited to try that. So I'll let you guys know on my Instagram how it is. Anyway, let's go get facial. What's this, like a cooling gel? So this is hyaluronic acid. So obviously with the, the microneedling, it's gonna penetrate deeper into the skin. <laughs> it also helps with like the hydration as well, because with microneedling, it can 
dry your skin. I feel like the needling sounds scarier than it. Yeah, it definitely does sound scary. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this is me the next day. This is my skin. It's still settling down. She's still a bit red. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my reset week vlog. I love you all. See you soon.